Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well. I have a banana fritters recipe for you today. Let's get started. And here we have three overripe bananas and this is a good way to utilize your overripe bananas and you're going to mash it. And using a potato masher makes it so much easier. It was done in like five seconds, if not less. And then you're going to have your one egg added and a tablespoon of vanilla. Mix that all very well. Then you're going to add one cup of flour and sieve it. Then two tablespoons of brown sugar, a tablespoon or a level teaspoon of salt, sorry, half teaspoon of baking powder. And here we have some cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg, about a teaspoon each. And then you're gonna whisk that all together. Make sure it's all well combined. Now this texture is a little bit too watery for my liking because when you're gonna fry it, um, it's gonna absorb too much oil. So I'm gonna add about a third cup more of um, flour and a half tablespoon more of sugar to compensate for that extra flour that we added. And mix it very well again. And this is more of the texture that we're looking for. It will not absorb as much oil. So this is a very good texture to fry. And make sure before you start your frying, you get all the utensils you're going to need. Always have your container lined with your paper towel to uh, receive the fritters so it can help to absorb some of the excess oil and get your frying pan there and put enough oil in there to line the bottom or a little bit more than to line the bottom because you need to have enough oil in there to fry your fritters and you can also test the oil by putting in a little bit of the mixture you see that little um, fritter frying, ar frying around in there. Um, yes, just use a little bit of the mixture in the oil. To, and once it flows to the top and starts to, to fry up, then you know your oil is hot enough. Make sure that when you're placing them in the frying pan, don't put them too close together. And you can use a large spoon or that measuring cup that I showed you to pour the batter into the oil. And when it starts to bubble around the sides, you check to see if it's getting brown underneath. And look there, yes, it was getting brown underneath. And you're gonna just turn it and allow the other side to cook up and brown as well. And there's one way to test if it's um, properly fried and you, I'm gonna show you with the last one when I'm removing it or before I remove it from the pan, you're gonna see how I test it to make sure that it is properly fried. Remove each one and remember when you're placing them, look at how lovely golden brown and nice it is. Make sure that when you're placing it in the container with the paper towel, don't put them too close together. Just kind of separate them so that they can drain properly. And this is the way you test to see if it's properly done. You kind of press in the middle. If um, liquid comes up or wet liquid comes up, you know that it's not done. But when there is none, it's done. And this is here we have our lovely banana fritters. 
and I'm just trying to pretty it up to get that thumbnail picture and this is how it looks when it's done frying up see the inside is properly cooked and it was very tasty guys I must say but anyways guys I thank you for watching up to this point please share the video subscribe give a comment and give me a like thank you for watching